What's up, all my beautiful nieces? Divine Feminine, if you up in here, shout out to Divine Feminine. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Now, <laughs> feminine energies. Y'all know auntie gonna tell you the truth, because the truth tells me. Now, some of you, this energy may not resonate with you, and some of you, it will. And before I get off into this reading, I'm asking you to help that 19,378 subscribers count go up. Your one subscribing can help my channel grow. Okay, you see I got them arrows pointing up. So everybody, go on and hit that subscribe channel. And I'm going to be telling you, when you subscribe to my channel, you'll be finding out what's going on with the karmic energies that's surrounding you. Whether it's the person you're dealing with, and sometimes it can be family members. But the majority of the time, it comes out that it's a partner or an ex of yours or your, somebody that your person is dealing with on the side that you may be unaware of. It comes out. So you might as well want to go on and, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the tea. Okay. Put it in the comments. Y'all know auntie be giving the tea, right? If auntie get a tea to you and, and I'm giving you the information and clarification what you need, put a bunch of teacups in a bottle. <laughs> in a bottle. Damn. What about a bottle? Put it in the in the bottom in the comment section. Okay? Y'all know I come with the tea. But see, I was on my way to my pharmacy, which was to my doctor's office, which was closed. What is today? Why was my doctor's office closed? Oh, because it's Saturday. They closed early, but I went up there so I can get my high blood pressure medicine refilled. But they were closed. And I was on my way back home. And I just heard in my spirit They can't afford to be in a relationship. They can't afford to be in a relationship because they have a codependent child's mama. That where they have to take care of this child's mama and their kids. The child's mama uses the kids to manipulate these masculines. And these are karmic baby mamas. Okay. So some of you out there, you may your person may be dealing with a karmic baby mama that he the relationship between you and him may not be going, you know, in the right direction because of this karmic baby mama. And I I I came home and I pulled one card. One card. Okay? And that card was death in reverse. Somebody may be um, dealing with a Scorpio or you may be a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. But see, it's either somebody, this, this baby mama is keeping this masculine from going through a transformation. And the transformation could be it starting a new beginning with you. And he can't because he can't afford to. See, remember, this is a codependent baby mom. I mean, she depends on this masculine to do everything. And somebody out there, you didn't stop laying down with this masculine. You cut off the sex. You cut off the intimacy. You cut it off. You're not giving it to him no more. Okay? Now, even though they got their baby mama drama going on, 
They wanted you to be a part of it. They wanted you to accept that they got a baby mama that they still taking care of. Getting her hair done or whatever. We're going to see why she's so codependent. We're going to find out why this masculine can't afford this relationship with a feminine. A divine feminine at that. So, for some of you, these cards, when they come out, they may resonate with you. And some of you, it ain't going to resonate with you. Okay? Just please keep in mind that it may or may not resonate with you. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax. And let that shit go. Strength in reverse. Queen of Cups energy. Mm, I believe that's you, feminine. Or she could be a... Uh, she could either be a Leo or you could be a Leo. Scorpio energy out here. Um, Aquarius energy out here. Six of Wands in reverse. It's like this masculine, he's he's basically he's being taken for granted. And he's feeling like a failure. She didn't drained all of his strength. She don't give him a sense of renewed hope and faith that he was truly blessed by the universe with her. Okay. Oh. Or this could be your energy towards your person because of this. You may feel that your person is draining your strength. Um, you may not feel a sense of renewed hope and faith in the person that you're dealing with or this person. Okay, somebody feels like a failure and and it's like he he don't he don't have a he don't feel like he got a reward with this karmic. Yeah, he don't. Six of wands in reverse. He don't he don't feel like that. Because it's like he can't do nothing for himself. And if he wanted he wanted to be in a relationship even if he wanted to be in a relationship with this baby mama, she's draining his pockets. Oh. Yeah. He just, it's like she's she, she's draining him sexually, energetically. Somebody may drink. Somebody could be a Pisces. I see Aquarius out here, Pisces. Somebody may ride a motorcycle. Mm. So somebody, somebody is a it's a tarot reader that popped out. Something, something. He's not aware of. This masculine and feel is feeling so much like a failure that he feels like he's destined to be with this person. Like it's he feels like it's like super karma. Damn. It's like whoever he's with, whoever the karmic third party is. The will of fortune is out here. Strength in his strength in reverse. The star in reverse. Queen of Cups energy. Someone loving, caring, and compassionate. I don't know who energy it is. But um, let's get some more. He, he's That Wheel of Fortune is all about good fortune. Uh, the lovers here, Gemini energy. He could be married to this karmic feminine. Aww. Yeah, he he's it's like he by him not being able, he can't afford to be in a relationship. He can't afford to be with anybody else. 
you know. So it, it's like he's feeling like a failure, like saying, well, damn, like he he's stuck with this karmic. Yeah, he's, he's, it's like whoever this masculine is, this, this, uh, baby mama, she's draining him. And she, she's draining him because with this death and rebirth, she don't want it to end with him. For some of you, she could be a stripper or something. So he 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 knows now. Okay, there's clarity. Yeah, this is the father energy. This is his this is his this is his child, his kid's mama. And he gotta be in fuckboy energy basically because she's she's you know, he may be paying her rent. And you know this this yeah he's he's losing a lot of money with her. He's paying her rent and shit. Um, if he owned property, she could she could be living in the property. He could be taking care of that property financially and and a family, you know. And, and she may not be doing nothing. He's, he's not going by the rules and the regulations either. So this is somebody that you stop them from going back and forth in your life. You stop giving them your sex um, because you could have been giving them your sex and you could have been feeling drained and tired from giving this person your energy. And you could have went to a tarot reader or watch me and I told you about it. I could have awakened you to the fact how how sex, you know, will drain you. You thinking you then you sleeping all good because somebody done fucked you so good that they put you to sleep. No, they fucked you and they stole your energy. That's why you sleeping. Okay? I'm sorry. Some of you they I ain't saying they didn't fuck you good, but they stole your energy if you sleeping all day. That's a demonic spirit that don't want you to get up and do what you're supposed to be doing. It wants you to be tired and lazy. So this this person is carrying that spirit, and somebody is going to see a tarot reader. Okay. See, whoever this person is, it's like they they got, you know, they got this baby mama drama going on. They can't afford to be with you. If they're paying her rent and her bills and all of this shit or her mortgage, what what do they have to give to you? Nothing. All they can give you is a piece of dick. They can't give you no love. They could probably give you affection. They could be a king of cups and give you, you know, be sweet, nurturing, and kind. But damn, you need you need a whole divine masculine. You don't just need a a, a king of wands. You don't need a, 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 a king of cups. You need a whole divine masculine that's going to give you the love, the nurture, help you with your bills financially, spit some truth to you, give you them sexual, you know, satisfy you sexually. That's a divine masculine. You don't need nobody just give you right about now, you know, you could be having financial problems and this person just wants sex. No, I can't take that dick and go take it to the bank and cash it in. The fuck? No. So it's like, that's the energy you have to be in, ladies. 
Because especially when these men, they got codependent baby mamas that don't want to let go. And don't you be one of them codependent baby mamas. If you're not handicapped or in a wheelchair or too old or whatever, um, you need to have some sort of income that's going to gonna help you make it in case this man walk away from you. Don't never be dependent on a man. Depend on yourself and the Most High God, your answers to help you. Okay? All right, 15, 15 on the clock. That means it's time to stop. I'll see you guys in the next reading. If it resonated with you or gave you some clarification in your situation, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you tinkle that little notification bell by tapping. All right, peace out.